So a runner at first for Muncie. On a 2-2, Muncie hits a towering fly ball. Way back to right field. What a way to start the homestand. Skyscraping shot. 2-0. Max has not been real good against breaking balls. But that slider right there, he absolutely punished. Ball one on Justin Turner, who has started to heat up lately. He hits one in the air to right center, carrying back there. Garcia's going. They've gone back to back. It is Turner's 12th, and it's 3 0. The swing and then the pose, but we didn't see any frustration in the pose. So, right about now, you think he got this. He's just checking out the trajectory to see did I hit it a little too high? I know I hit it well, and he got enough. They've got two on with one out as Gavin Lux comes up. That slipped into center field. Garcia's retreating. He's running out of room. There's another. It's six nothing in the first. Another hanging breaking ball. Max Muncy didn't miss it. And Gavin Lux didn't miss it. It's a nice looking swing. Fulton Evich has struggled with left handers this year, and the Dodger left handers have continued that trend. 33 year old Clayton Kershaw making his 14th start of the year. With his first strikeout of the night, sitting down Solak. Sticks with it and strikes him out. Home with another one two kind of falafel watches strike three ninety two with a fastball infield will come in for Chris Woodward with a man at third and one gone Dodgers up six nothing. That's a base hit into center Lux is driven in four it scoots by Garcia. Lux will stop at second with an RBI double. Kershaw will have a chance to swing away here with a man at second and two gone. He wastes no time banging a base hit into right center to bring home Gavin Lux. Clayton Kershaw with an RBI single, and it's 8 0. Mike grounded out his first time. Rookie out of Clemson. Swings and misses, and Kershaw has his fifth K. On the 10th pitch, Adolis Garcia swings and misses at a slider that kicks away from Smith, and he will reach anyways. Garcia's at first one gone as the payoff comes home, and Gallo watches strike three. And Kershaw strikes out four in the fourth inning, and believe it or not, it is the first time that he's done that. First time it's happened for the Dodgers since 2015. When Albert did not start the game. Muncy hit a two run home run in the first and then would come out. Albert goes up and gets this one and sends it a mile halfway up the pavilion and it's nine nothing. Lefty on the mound and guess what happens. Albert Pujols knocks it out of the yard. Smith has hit a hard both times, has a double to show for it. Yanks this one down the line, hooking towards the foul pole, and gone! The fifth home run for the Dodgers tonight. The power, the home runs per at bat this year, not where it was in the past, even if it's a young career. And the other thing is he has really struggled with the ball down. Well, that was a down breaking ball that he was able to elevate and keep fair. It's right out there to try and finish things off as we go to the ninth inning in a 12 1 game. Line to second. That's the game. Dodgers all over the Rangers in game one a final of 12 1. Trevor Bauer 4 0 at home and a 1 6 9. He makes his 14th overall start. Payoff pitch from Bauer to Willie Calhoun. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Throw down, and the runner is safe. So he gets the strikeout. They do not get the strike him out, throw him out, and it's stolen base number 12 for Isaiah Connor Falefa. 1 2 to Garcia. Got him again with a breaking ball. Two strikeouts now for Bauer here in the first inning. Bauer gets a target from Smith and the 2 2. 
Just oh, late strike call by Edwin Moscoso. He punches him out. Junior and Trey Turner. And he's just behind Whit Merrifield of the Royals, who has 17. And Calhoun out on strikes for the second time. One gone. So any key to the game with Trevor Bauer keeping the ball in the yard, it's been an issue for him as he comes back and strikes out Colby Allard. Don't have to get four right away, but you want to get that first one. Strike three called, and Bauer has six strikeouts. That's why the score is where it is. Plus, he gave up the home run to Heim. Wow, right past it. Snapped in there for strike three. Juice. Trevor Bauer leads off, and that ball hit on the ground to right field, and he'll be in there. Ball overthrown by Gallo, and Bauer will have his first hit tonight if they're going to have a chance to win. Bauer pumps one by him for a strike. Second time he has struck out White tonight. Eight strikeouts in the game for Trevor Bauer. AJ is 0 for 2. 2-1. Two to center field and deep. This ball back. It's gone. A home run. AJ Pollock. His fifth of the year. I thought it was a very brave call for you to say that A.J. Pollock was trying to get the Dodgers on the scoreboard, but then the next pitch, you know, he hits it out the center. I think you were locked in. I read the script. <laughs> Walker Bueller, seven shouted innings his last time against the Pirates on Tuesday. Bueller comes home and gets a chase for strike three in the first out of the day. Another 2 2, and Bueller's already got as many strikeouts as he had Tuesday in Pittsburgh. Up comes Gavin Lux, who had a two for four night in game one, including a homer. Lux slashes one to left center field. That's a base hit that'll split the gap and bounce to the wall. Injecting energy immediately, driving home bets from first. Dodgers one, Rangers nothing. Let the kids play and he came to play swats this ball into the left center gap once it gets to the wall now Dino Ebel's thinking we got a chance to score Mookie then he sees that and it is easy not to stop your right arm if you're a third base coach and you got this guy running and you got a bobble in left field and you need to run early to get some energy and that's what happens. On a 2 2, Connor Falefa watches a fastball hit the bullseye for strike three. Walker Bueller's third K of the game, and he does settle things down with a 13 pitch second. Bueller makes quick work of him. He chases 96 up and away. Strike on number four, one gone in the third. Two on, two out, a 1 2, and he struck him out. So, top of the order here against Dane Dunning. Mookie Betts to lead it off. Betts lifts one down the right field line, peeling towards the corner. Gallo's over. It's gone. Inside the foul pole. Home run, Mookie Betts. Free advertising for axe handle bats. He chopped it out of here. Nice. He really did use his top hand very well there. First and third, two out, Zach McKinstry. 0-1 pitch, runner takes off as McKinstry serves one in the air to left center field, it'll split the gap. And it'll drive home two. Two out, two run double, Zach McKinstry. Dodgers four, Rangers nothing. The McKinstry all was two for 23 in his first 10 games back. He is two for two today. This is fun to see. This is the McKinstry we saw earlier in the year where we said, whoa, we've got a youngster here that barely makes the roster because of the versatility. The bat came alive early, and now it's kind of like welcome back. Bueller about to throw his 85th pitch of the game, but he has uh, become more economical the last couple of innings. That's the inning. To the bottom of the six we go. The Dodgers four, the Rangers nothing. So Matt Beatty coming up with two out. And Betts at third. 
Beatty with a base hit into right center field. In to score is Mookie Betts, and it's 5 0. Doing his best left handed Nomar impression. Fix the batting gloves, get ready back in the box, and line drive. Show me what you got, Beatty. <laughs> that saved the walk up song. It was getting ready to be changed. Number 11, A.J. Pollock. Well, they turn to the all time save leader for the Dodgers. He has 326. He needs to make that 327 today. The 0 1 to Gallo. Popped off the hands. Will it stay in play? Taylor overtaking charge, making the call and the catch. One gone. You can sit high again. 0 1 pitch. Goes to it again. Pop left side. McKinstry for out number two. He eats him up, and he's an out away. Ground ball to second. Taylor's there. It was never in doubt. Five three. The final score. Oh my goodness. 327 saves as a Dodger, and that was one of the more dramatic ones from Kenley Jansen.